Hello, welcome back to the vlog. So in today's video, we'll install a harness in our tail light to get a full illumination uh, when we step on the brake. So come on, let's check out the factory setting on this one. Okay, so this is how it looks like when you step on the brake. And now this is how it looks like when you turn on the park lights. Okay, so this is how it looks like when we have our uh, headlights on. Uh, so we have our tail lights on also. And now we're gonna step on the brake when the tail lights are on. Okay, so let's install the harness and compare them. Okay, so these are the harness that we got. I got them from Amazon. Uh, they are XGR uh, brand one. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. So these are the harness, the cables. So, yep. So I'll show you where to connect them, uh, what to remove. So let's proceed with that one now. Okay, so we're gonna remove all of the covers in here in the back of the door. So we're gonna remove everything in here, all of the plastic covering. Then we're gonna work on our way down here uh, in a moment after we install the harness uh, on the top part. And I'll show you in a moment all right okay and on removing this you just simply pull it out uh you'll hear the snap uh then just pull them out like that there you go nothing breaks so yeah just pull them and then next will be this side so once you actually pull this, uh, the middle part, this is easy to remove. It's very easy. All right, and then the cable, this long cable, we will connect it to the third brake light over here. So we're gonna unplug this guy here okay so then we'll just gonna connect this harness uh in here so just simply plug that one we'll hear the snap of course same with the other side then we're gonna run this wire under here so we're gonna remove the cover and i'll show you which one to connect in here okay also we have to remove this cover because there's a bolt uh, or a screw uh, holding this in place so if you have a pry tool you can simply use this pry tool and there's a slot in here which you can just put in there and just pull this one out so very easy just do the same on the other side and yep so there's two screw bolts holding this in place now we can pull it out all right all right and these are going to be 10 millimeter bolts that we just need to remove okay so now uh, that the cover is removed here we have to connect the harness that we connect from here we will run this wire here and it will go here this is where we're gonna connect we're just gonna remove that and then we're gonna have this piggyback harness and just plug it in there so let me work and just do the same thing on the other side all right okay so this is the plug we need to remove there we go so we're gonna connect this 
the factory harness we're gonna connect on the piggyback click the piggyback connects back there there we go then we're just gonna run this one on the other side all right okay so we'll be working on this other side uh, but if you want to do your cable management now uh, you can just run it uh, where you want it to run and we're gonna do some zip tie uh, cable tie later but I will kind of just run it where it doesn't hang and we're just gonna plug it in here yep. very easy DIY uh, that you can do and very inexpensive uh, this harness costs only like dollars uh, it really depends there's some companies making a lot of profit selling them for close to two hundred dollars or more I guess but it's it's really doesn't cost that much uh, to build this but there you go the uh, the top uh, portion of it it's done we just need to put the covers back on after we do some cable management okay so now that I finish uh, doing some cable management in here so I just use some cable ties uh, that I got laying around so yep now we're gonna work on this one so we're just gonna remove this clip on both sides so I just use a screwdriver because I can find my uh, tool so once that's removed just pull this out and everything should uh, work easily from there we, we will search for the cable to plug in this harness all right so it's my first time uh, taking this apart so it's also snapped so okay so it's gonna be in here the cable that we need okay so let me show you which harness are we going to need I think that one that one is the one that we need uh, we're gonna unplug that then we're gonna use our piggyback harness again plug it in there all right yeah that one there you go I successfully unplug it I'm just gonna plug this there you go now just plug this one where you unplug that stuff one just do the same on the other end and we're going to try them out so just need to push this there you go and basically that's it just want to make sure uh, it won't rattle so yep and then just put the clip back on do it on the other side and we're done okay also one thing you can do is you can remove the 10 millimeter bolt in here uh, to make it easier to pull this again that's optional because I was able to do it here on the other end without removing that bolt all right so let's proceed with this one okay so we're gonna do the test with the new harness and this is how it looks like when we just simply step on the brake no tail lights on all right. Okay, now we're gonna test it with the side mar markers on park lights. Okay, now we're gonna test it with the headlight and taillights on 